Okay, let's try this again. Oh my goodness. Facebook keeps changing things and they keep moving things. So I know there was a couple people, there were a couple people watching and now um, they're gone. But anyway, I am just, I'm going to try to share this again and see if it is shared. Shared via, let me see. Um, I don't know. I can't share it to my, I wanted to share it to my, my Donna's Creative Space group. Um, but it's not letting me, so I, I guess I'll just share it later. Very crazy. So anyway, hi guys. Do I look any different now that I'm retired? Um, all right, so if you're watching me live, please say hello. I do, and, and um, comment, and please share. Oh, well, I, I gotta make sure I remember to look. Can't look at myself on the screen. I have to look at the little camera spot. So anyway, I am live. For those of you who don't know me, I am Donna Singleton. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and my business name is Donna's Creative Space. So, I, if you're watching live here, go ahead and say hello. I love to see your names out there. Plus, when you comment, you're going to get today's card, which I'll show you what we're going to make today. We're going to make a fun fold card. I know it's backwards, but in a minute you'll see it. You'll see it um, the right way. But it's just because I have my camera flipped. And I don't always go live like this. I don't usually show myself because I always kind of mess the things up with the camera. I hope I get better at this. But anyway, I do have a couple of things to announce and I will um, I will fl flip you down for that. But um, I please somebody say hello. I just want to make sure that the comments are working. I did hear and I or I noticed something. Everything's changed. It's like I have to pick my profile. I can go on as Donna Singleton on my profile, but I can't go on as Donna Singleton here on Donna's Creative Space. And I, when I log in, it, it, it shows me as Donna's Creative Space. So it's kind of crazy. Something's changing. Um, but I think there's something to do with comments. If you're new and you haven't commented on my page before, you might have to um, accept something or click a box before it lets you. But I want you to comment. I want you to say hello. I want you to comment because I am I have started to give away my cards for free just to send just as a thank you for watching and commenting and um, I still have Phyllis Marie still has to choose remember these we made these a couple of weeks ago and um, they're gonna be backwards I will show them again when we go down when we turn the camera down but Phyllis um, I did post with your name but your name was pulled I took all the names from the people that um, commented and I pulled your name. Oh, I saw a heart. Is anybody? I don't see any comments though. So I think I, I see Lori's Susan Lewis wants to join you on video. No, I don't think I want you. I don't think you join. Do you? If I click, there's a little button, but I don't know if I can, I don't see that here. This is strange. So I don't know. Susan, is it saying that you have to? Oh, no. No, that's not right. Um, I don't know. You might have to do something different because that was just Susan. For some reason, it, it said I was going to let you join me on the video. And I don't think I want to do that. No offense, but I don't know how that will work. Um, you could be in your pajamas for all I know. Anyway, I'm going to turn you down. I can see a couple of people's like profile pictures. I think I see Lori's yellow flower there, but um, I don't know. I think that, I think that, um, I don't know. See, I know that something's happening. So you might have to do something with the comments. Who can comment on your post? Anybody can. Yeah, I have it set to public. So anyway, you might have to you might have to do something on your end. I know I keep seeing the hearts. Who's gonna win the card if you guys can't comment? Maybe afterwards you'll be able to comment. I'm not sure. This is very strange, but I, I wish 
Facebook would just leave things alone. They're working. You know, what's that saying? If it's not broke, don't fix it. I know. I keep seeing a heart go by, but nobody's commenting. I wonder if you, if I can comment. Let me see. I can comment. Did it, can you guys see that comment? <laughs> this is crazy. Maybe I'm going to win my card if I'm the only one that commented. Anyway, um, I guess I don't know how this is working. So anyway, we'll have to figure that out. And oh, I see hearts and thumbs up. So you guys can't comment. This is crazy. You can't comment. But um, I, I did see something that you had to, you had to kind of like apply or or approve get approved but I don't know I have um, I have it set right so we'll see we'll see what happens but um, all right so I'm just gonna go live and if you can't comment maybe you can comment afterwards I'm gonna turn you down and I'm gonna turn on a few more um, lights for my my desk space so I'm gonna cover you up for a second so that you don't get sick and I'm gonna flip you around and um, hmm, let me get you into my little camera mount here. Hope I didn't make anybody sick. All right, my goodness. That was like a, uh, a, a project in itself. Yeah, this is strange that no one can comment. I'll have to figure that out, maybe afterwards. All right, so a couple of things. I wanted to remember, remind you, well, first, let me go back to this so you can see. Oh, I forgot to put on extra lights. Hang on. Sometimes it just seems like it needs a little bit more light when I go to stamp. This is so lonely without anybody commenting. But they said that um, it's very strange. I'm trying to see if there's anything who can comment. I have it set right. So you guys might have to, maybe I have to approve you. I don't know, but I can't see any names. Community standards. Yeah, I'm not going to bully anybody. Hmm. I don't know, folks, but let's see. No, I don't think there's anything else that I can figure out. It says who can comment on your post, and I have it set to public. So that's good. So, um... I don't know. I don't know what's happening. And I think, uh-oh, now I just lost that. Public, done. All right, now I can't even see uh, my comment thing. Anyway, let's, oh, it's back. Okay, so I can see the comments. I can only see my comment. So I'm just going to keep going. And um, I do know that maybe somebody can Google it while I'm doing this. <laughs> I can't. But um, I did know somebody mentioned that they changed something with the comments. And I thought they said that people have to like be approved or something. So if somebody wants to Google while I'm doing this, that would be awesome. And you, oh, but you can't tell me, right? So that won't work. Oh, well. Um, I don't know. I don't know what. I'll just have to keep going. But anyway. It will be lonely without hearing from anybody. But Phyllis Marie, you watched two weeks ago when we did these cute little hippo cards. And you have won one of them. You can choose which one you would like. I have your name, and I'll wait a little while longer for you. But I did, I did go back to that post, and I commented with your name. So it should have, you know alerted you. It should have notified you. But anyway, those are for you. Now, the one we did last week, I took all, everybody that commented, and I put their name in a bin, and Beverly Oster won. So this was the one we made last week. Um, we did this one. Remember that? So Beverly, if you were watching, I can't tell if you're watching, um, you have won this one. So I will get that to you. I believe I, I, I know I have your address, because I, you have done my card class to go before. So, um, and speaking of card class to go, I did want to explain one more thing before I go on to other things. So my card class to go are these cards, all right? And today's the last day to shop with me. 
the stamp set is um, out of stock at the moment. It will be back July 25th, but um, if you've already shopped and you've gotten it, that's great. But these are the four cards. You'll get a kit to make two of each of these so you definitely need the stamp set to make these if you if you kind of procrastinated because today's the last day and um, this like I said the stamp sets out of stock but the dies to cut out the trees and the little sign and the little doggy and it cuts out some other stuff it's got a really cute camper a little camper that cuts out the dies are still available they're in the um, in the celebration catalog and if you spend a hundred dollars, let me oops, let me find them. Um, it's a shame that um, things are running out so fast. But um, like these these um, pool party and soft sea foam cards and envelopes, they're gone. They ran out already. They were a big um, here they are. They were a big hit. So the dies are still available with a hundred dollar order. You get them for free. So if you shopped, you can't get this the Trees for Sale stamp set, but you can shop for other things and get the card class for free. And then later in the month, you could order the, um, the stamp set. Uh, later in the month, I have my virtual card class starting in a few days, and that you have to spend $35 to get four cards. That'll be completely different, completely different cards, but you could buy the stamp set then. I guess if you if you really want to get the dies, I would suggest getting them sooner than or sooner than later because I think since the stamp set is out but it's coming back, anything in the celebration catalog is while supplies last. So if people start to panic and try to get these, because oh my gosh, it makes the cutest little camper. And I'm die cutting everything but the trees for you. I'll give you. Um, and the, I can't, and the sign, I guess, and the dog, <laughs> anything you have to stamp first. See, nobody can talk back to me because they can't comment. This is crazy. Um, if you have to stamp first, I can't cut it out for you. All right. I am going to cut all your paper. I'm going to cut this piece, your circles, um, your designer paper. You're going to get this tag. It's actually like a double tag. So I think I'll give you it. I haven't decided you're either going to get a hole and you'll cut it in half or if I have time I'll cut it in half myself ahead of time but to cut out these trees you could fussy cut everything if you want but um because it's it's doable it's you know it's not that hard to fussy cut them but you I think you'd want the the um die so hopefully you already got the stamp set and if not um you might want to get the dies ahead of time but with the hundred dollar order you can get the dies for free um, you would also get my card kit and the stamp set is supposed to be back in stock the week of the 25th sometimes it comes back in early sometimes it's later than that so I and I, I don't know I can only look at the the um, inventory status report and see what they say and they say July 25th now if you do spend a hundred dollars to get the dies right and then you, you shop later in the month to get my virtual card class. Um, all orders of 75 or more will also get a free embellishment pack. Okay, so you'll get a little bit extra. So that's the card class to go. And you have to use this host code QGC3KUNE because that's how I will know that you want the card kit. Um, and I do want to show you two cards I got in the mail or one this I just bent back um, for my retirement my friend Susie sent this one it's so pretty right very pretty and then Christine made this one retirement wishes very pretty I, I just thought I wanted to show you guys those all right so that's all that I can put that aside one more thing is when you join I'd love to have you on my sage stamper team um, I have the sheet that I wanted to put out so you can read this while I'm speaking it. But um, like I said, we're the Sage Stampers. It's a small team, um, not a big group. We meet once a month on Zoom. I'm hoping maybe the local people will get to start getting together again. Um, anytime during the year, you can join Stampin' Up! and get $125 in product for only $99 plus tax. And you get free shipping, which is a great deal. Um, but 
during celebration, besides getting that, the 20, $125 for $99, which is $26 in product for free, you also get this all this stuff. Look at all this. All right. Um, I'm not sure if you can see it all, but you get. It's called the uh, Making Plans Collection. And it includes this beautiful, it's, it's a faux leather, um, and it's got this magnetic closure here. But isn't this beautiful? I love these flowers. So you get, it goes from um, July of 2022 to January 2023. So you have all these inserts. Now, I'll show you. You get the tabs, and it has, you know, I, I went through this on my, on my last email. Um, I mean, my last Facebook Live, but it comes with... At this look at all the stuff it comes with i just put it in this plastic it comes with four sheets of stickers so these extra types of pages that have pages and for all you planners out there this is the perfect time to join and um, i'd love to have you on my team you get a discount on my um card classes and oh and it, so it comes with the stamp set also so this is a great stamp set. You can use this for other things also. It doesn't have to be just for the planner. And besides all that, let me, let me close this now because it's such a pretty planner. It's so soft too. Besides all that, you also get these three journals. The three notebooks. There are, I don't know how many pages in each. But this one is plain pages. Um, and this one are is lined sheets. I think you can see that. Not, not when I probably flip it so fast. And this is the dotted. All right. I'm very upset that no one can... Um, oh, no one can write a comment. I Someone did just text me, but I, I forgot to turn my phone on. Um, if, you, if you want... If somebody looked it up... Let me see something. If I can Google... Um, Hang on a sec. Why can't people, because if somebody looked this up, they can't tell me. People comment on Facebook Live. Let's see if I can figure it out. All right, it says, um, hmm. Why are comments on Facebook Lives not showing? Oh, it says poor networking. No, it's not that. There's a reason. Something happened. Why can't I comment videos on Facebook? So, I don't know. There's something's changed, and it's recent. Um, but anyway, I'll have to figure that out. And because these are all, yeah, these are old, old things telling me for settings. But I have it all set. But anyway, so that's the join special. And like I said, I'd love to have you on my team. One more thing I want to tell you, and then I want to do some um, stamping. I think it's just this last thing to tell you. So this is, I don't know, I'm sh and, and I bet you, I bet you somebody's looked it up and has figured it out, but I can't get to my texts, um, and I can't get to, I can't get to my, um, messages well i can so if you want to message me maybe i can open it there but in any case um so sweet sunflowers this is the next paper pumpkin so if you want oh they, they look like they're going to be really beautiful cards look at that this is a poor printout but um if you want to sign up for the paper pumpkin this is my the link here i'll put it at the end of this video or i will try to depends on what Facebook is doing to me. You can contact me at Donna Singleton 33 at yahoo.com and I can send it to you. I'll send you the link if you're interested. But you have to sign up by the 10th of the month to get that month's paper pumpkin. And um, these look like they're going to be nice. They're going to be nine cards. And if you like sunflowers, this will be perfect. And, and usually you get these little, um, here I have one sitting here, these little ink spots, right? It's the ink uh, color. There Usually you only get one, but in this next kit, we're going to get two. And you can sign up for one month or uh, three months or six months. It gets cheaper if you, you know, prepay for three months or six months or, or a year. But anyway, so that's that. All right. And I am going to be with 
three other demonstrators, we are going to be putting together a PDF um, of alternatives to offer to our Paper Pumpkin subscribers. So you'll have to watch that. Um, don't know. Somebody, somebody's texted me, but I can't. Um, I forgot to put it on Do Not um, Disturb. Gosh, I'm pretty crooked. All right. Hi, we can't. I know. Oh, I just did see. I think I just saw somebody say they can't comment. I know you can't comment. Something happened with Facebook, and I don't know how to fix it. And I've already checked, and um, I've I've turned on the thing. It says it says that um, people can comment, but it won't let you. So I will have to figure that out, and maybe you'll have to comment afterwards so that you can earn this little free card. So we're going to make this again. So it looks some um, just about like this, but this is a cute fun fold, and um, I'll show you. I open it up, and we've made this fun fold I think before, but I just love this new paper. Now this is the free paper, with um, I'll show you. So I'll show you everything. All right. So this is the free paper in the celebration brochure. All right, and um, if you you get it for free with a $50 order. So if you shop with me, um, not only will you get my card class to go kit and hopefully you can get the stamp set when it comes back to orderable the week of the 25th. Um, but you'll get this a set. It's a full size pack of paper, 12 by 12 paper, 12 sheets to each of six double sided designs. And I have some here. It's kind of cut up, but it's really, really pretty paper. So I'll try to go quickly through it. Um, actually I'll pull it out um, and it like I said it's called what did I tell you rings of love so I'm using this piece today but it's got a really pretty back and these are the papers in it I love this I love I love that color some trees and flowers there's that page again this might all be out of order so there's this this one will make great fall cards look at that how pretty this is the bird one again right with the kind of splotchy and back and then this I love these houses we have to do something with these houses aren't they pretty and um, I love I love these houses and then these rings now you could the project we're doing today I'm going to show you how to use this new um, 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 what are they calling it they are calling it hold on the hybrid embossing folder, right? Tree rings hybrid embossing folder. We've had a couple of these that do both cutting and embossing at the same time. So you want to stick around so you can see how we do that. But you could also just cut these out if you didn't want to have to go the bother, but I'm going to show you today. So this is, look at these pretty mushrooms. Aren't those cute? I just love this paper. Oh, the birds again. And then the trees again. Okay, so that's all of the paper. I've got to see all of it. Let me put that aside. And, okay, so that's on page seven of the celebration brochure. I know, I'm sorry you can't comment. I know, I don't understand um, what happened, but I did see. I thought that, I could swear that someone, I saw another demo doing a video the other day, and she said that something changed, but I thought she said you guys had to say, you know, fill out something. I don't know, but you can comment. Maybe you can comment after I'm done with the video and um, I'll have to, or, or email me to tell me that you watched the, the video. I don't know. No, we'll get the comments. I said it's going to be, you'll get the card for commenting. So, so today, not only am I using that paper, a piece of that paper, I'm using the Ringed with Nature stamp set. And this is in our mini catalog. Gosh, I feel awful. Like nobody can talk to me. And it's on page 62 and this is it right here and see how they made these little um, uh, like they're slices of uh, uh, slices of a tree so that's kind of the rage you can kind of see um, I've seen a lot a lot of those um, ornaments made out of actual wood slices but anyway I'm going to show you how to use the three tree rings hybrid embossing folder today all right, so that is, like I said, page 62. And, and then I already showed you where, where the paper is. All right, so 
let's uh, let's see I'm gonna show you this now so I'm going to start with and you this is really cool these hybrid fold this hybrid folder so you're gonna want to stick around for that but um, okay this is what you need all right you need a piece of eight and a half by five and a half it's scored at four and a quarter and I'm going to cut off one and a half inches from one side I haven't done that yet I want to do that in front of you you're going to need another piece that is three and a half I'm gonna leave these out all right so you can capture maybe you want to do a screenshot of all the measurements but this is three and a half by three and a half it's right actually I'll go this way with it um, scored at two and three quarters that's already scored I'm gonna cut because I'm afraid I'm gonna forget I'm gonna cut off one end I'm gonna cut off one and a half inches so I'll do that right now all right uh oh my blade just popped out okay it's back in that's how fast it and easy it is to get it back in all right so I'm gonna cut off one and a half this we don't need you can just put it aside use it on another card some other time another project okay so it's eight and a half by five and a half I scored it four and a quarter and then I cut off one and a half so the end result is six and um, I think it was six and hmm I don't have my big ruler in here I think it's six and oh it's it's seven duh right did I cut off the right amount yeah Yes, cut off one and a half. Yep, I did. Okay, so so the end result is seven inches by five and a half, and it's scored. So you can do it either way. I just happen to like to cut my all my cardstock into eight and a half by five and a half. All right, so then this turns out to be seven. All right, so just so you know, it ends up being, well, let me write it. So it ends up being seven by five and a half. I could have sworn that. Yeah, that's, I thought it was a little bit shorter, but seven by five and a half scored at four and a quarter. So whichever way you want to look, all right? So that's how you get here, but that's what it ends up being, all right? So then you need two pieces of designer series paper that are known as DSP. One is two and a half by five and a quarter, and the other one, the other one is three and a quarter by two and a half. Then we need a piece, and I'll leave these all out in case you're taking a screen snapshot. Some people like to do that. They, I guess they can freeze the video and maybe take all the measurements down. Then you need an inside piece. This is your inside mat of basic white that's four by five and a quarter. And then I have some scraps. So I have just a piece of basic white scrap that we're gonna, this is awful big. You don't need this big, but it's just a scrap piece that I have around. And I have some soft suede and some crumb cake and we're going to cut this piece out of it all right and then you need some twine to make your bow and these are the colors i've used i'm using um i think these go nicely together although this i stamped off to get a lighter shade so this is soft suede i'm using soft sea foam and the new starry sky so those are the five colors three colors i'm sorry three colors i'm using I need glue dots, some liquid glue, and some adhesive. Um, oh, and I'm also going to use these rustic metallic adhesive back dots to decorate the card. All right, so let's start. All right, I'm going to. Mm -hmm. uh oh, somebody else is. I know that they're probably going to text me saying that they can't. I'm not sure that they can't make a comment. I know you can't comment. I don't know what to tell you. There's a heart. <laughs> I can see hearts. I just can't see who's sa sending them. Not that I could see who was sending them before, but this is crazy. Ay, ay, ay. I just, I don't know. I, and I thought that if I Googled while you were watching, I might be able to figure it out, but I, it really does. I can't, I can't figure it out. So, Maybe you could Google um, why why can't people comment on Facebook Live? I don't know. It's just it's very strange. It's 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 not. Um, I just googled again just to see if it if it's. But it's it's like using. It's giving me an explanation for regular. This is something new that happened. I told you 
they change things and I don't, I don't understand. Let's stamp, let's do our stamping first so we can um, take care of things. Now I'm going to stamp the inside of the card, this cute little flower, all right, and I'm, I've stamped off the soft suede and the starry sky, but I did the sea foam full strength. So I'll show you. I did it just in this bottom corner because I don't want it to show when the cards are uh, closed. I didn't want it to show. Usually I put things in this corner, but I wanted to keep it plain white. So I am going to get a piece of scrap paper out. I've got my foam. This is my um, stamp and pierce mat, and I just have it turned upside down so I don't get any ink on it. But um, and a piece of scrap paper so I can stamp off. And um, Let's see, so I've got my soft suede, and since these are photopolymer stamps, you want to use a some, some sort of foamy or um, something underneath. If you don't have um, our stamp and pierce mat, you could use a magazine or a pad of paper. You just, since these don't have, like you know the red rubber ones have a little bit of foam under them? These don't have that foam for the cushion. You're just gonna get a better stamp image when you use um, something underneath all right so for this and I know this is stems so it probably should be um, it should probably be like green but I'm kind of trying to follow suit with the the color of the designer series paper and since it's since it's all twigs and it does have a little bit of green from leaves. But I'm going to do my le my flower. So I'm going to stamp off. I'm going to do my flower um, in the soft sea foam and do this kind of like it's the dried woody stuff, right? And so that's that. But I also want to, on a piece of um, scrap, I want to stamp my sentiment. And I am using Thinking of You. And I'm going to fussy cut this out. You can, if you want to punch it out with something, like here's a sample. I punch it out with the postage, um, this postage stamp punch, which is, in case you need the number for that, I just happen to have a label on that. But if you want to use a, a punch, go ahead and do so. But I am going to stamp it kind of down towards the bottom. I'm going to fussy cut this out. So I'll show you what I'm going to do with the pencil trick, which is kind of cool. And um, so that's our words. So that's, we're all done with the, the suede, the soft suede. So now I'm going to put our flowers on with the soft sea foam. Come on. And um, on this, we're all done with this. So let me take this back. And I'm gonna use this full strength. Now see these three little centers? That's, you can see the three little holes on you. Maybe if I put it up closer. You can see that, can you see one, two, three, three little holes in the center of those flowers? That's what we're going to aim on. We're going to aim to hit those three little centers. It doesn't have to be exact, but somewhere in that vicinity. All right, and then we are going to, I just wanted to put a little bit of blue into this. So I can put this away because we don't have a lot of stamping that we're doing. I was trying to get the right shade of these birds and they kind of looked like navy but they also had that light color so I was playing around and I put I used the starry sky and I tried three different shades three different stamp off so there's full strength there's one stamped off and then stamped off a third time I'll lift that up so you can see the difference so I liked the third time because I wanted something subtle so you can see right very subtle so I am going to um, do it I'm gonna ink it up and I'm gonna stamp it off once twice and then I'm gonna go on my card just like that and it's very light ink it up once twice and then on my card see very light that's what I wanted so you're really getting like you can do all kinds of shades when you, with your ink if you stamp off once, twice, and then like that. Very pretty, right? Okay, so let me put this, uh-oh, I just dropped a stamp. Hang on. I know it fell off my table, and if I didn't get it, I would probably forget that I lost it. 
All right, so let me put away this ink. We're all done stamping. All right, so this is going to go on the inside of our card. So let's do this. I'm going to take this off, and I'm going to just start this. Let me get rid of. Don't need that anymore. So here's our base now. I am going to get a bone folder out and crease it on the score line. This is going to go on the inside, so I will... Um, I'm just gonna, oops, just gonna add that. Oh, no, don't wanna do that yet. Never mind. Hold that thought. We don't wanna do that. I forgot. Let's cut this out. I'm gonna use a pencil. This is a pencil trick for fussy cutting things out. If you're not good at fussy cutting, especially words, draw with a pencil, leaving a white area around the words. All right, and I'm gonna do this and then I'll hold it up. And when it comes to like going around, like the tops of words. I don't necessarily uh, follow it exactly, but I'm just kind of, I don't know if you can see this. This is just going to help me when I go to cut it. Now, I didn't think about, I didn't think this up. I'll show you now. So that's what I did is I drew a line all the way around the edge. And I can see that right here I wasn't straight. So I'm going to go down and I'll erase that. When you erase it, don't use your pink eraser. Whenever you're going to use pencil on things, when you're marking your designer paper or something, use these white erase. Where's the pack? Let me see. I pulled out the package so I could show you. This is what I get. I buy these. They're called, I mean, I got these on Amazon. These happen to be, you can get them. They're different brands, but they happen to be, this one brand is Pentel, and it's high polymer eraser caps. All right. Um, I buy, this is what I have. You can get the, it's Statler makes them. They're Mars plastic. And this comes out, it's kind of like, um, it comes out of here on an angle, but I can, I can never get it out very easily. But once you start using the top of it, here's another one too. I have them all over the place because we used to use these. See, high polymer. This is the same brand as here. This is Statler. But it's just a white eraser, so it does not leave a mark. All right, so that's what I use. And that way I can put them on my pens, my mark, um, the ends of my pens. All right, so now I'm going to cut this out. All right, I know I was going to do, I was going to do um, the inside piece first, but I'm just kind of getting things ready, and then we can kind of assemble everything. We still have to cut. I still got to show you that um, hybrid embossing folder slash die. It's really cool the way those things work. So I'm just cutting on my line. And if I miss my pencil line, that's okay, because that's why I brought out the white eraser. Because I'm going to erase anything that shows up. But it's kind of fun sometimes to a fun look to have your the fussy cut. Now you can you can cut this out straight like a little um, you know just a little rectangle of basic white and have it. Um, you know, just stamp on a rectangle. You can use the a postage stamp like this. But I just decided I'm going to fussy cut this thinking of you out. So I hope whoever earns this card, I hope you guys are going to be able to um, comment. I want somebody to earn this card for free by commenting. I'd love it if you shared too. That's even better. So now I'll show you. I'm going to put this on here so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to just go on the edges wherever wherever there might be any um, pencil mark showing. And you can't really, it doesn't leave that pinky mark from those pink erasers. All right, and then you can look at it again and see if, like I think that I, I cut it at an angle, so I'm going to go, going to trim this a little better. Just like that. Good. I like it. I missed a pencil mark. All right, and that's what I use the pencil mark. I didn't think of that. It was somebody else, a different demonstrator. I just don't remember who it was. Otherwise, I'd give credit to her because it was a great idea. Okay. All right. So we are going to, let's do this first. We are going to put our design a series paper on. And we do, oh, you do need another scrap of, well, for mine. It depends on what you have for paper. I'm going to show you. I have to grab this scrap because I want a little bird. I want to cut out a little bird, and I think I'll use 
This one looks very similar to the one I used, but actually I think I used that one there. I guess it doesn't matter. I'm going to use this guy here. So I'm just going to cut him out and I'll fussy cut him later, but I don't want to forget him. I just used it to help hold my card. Oh yeah, it wasn't that bird. It was a different bird, but see, just to, you don't need it. You can just have your card fold flat and you don't need this little thing here, but I did it just so that I can put it behind there so it stays closed. All right, you could use a little flower if you have flowers in your designer paper. I just thought, hey, I'm just going to cut out one of those um, birdies and use that. All right, so we're going to take our designer paper and start mounting it on our... Um, oh, I think I'm going to run out of... Oh, no, I thought it was out. But I think I have plenty. So this is going to go on the front of your card, All right, right like this. So if, a direct, if you have directional paper, make sure you cut this piece correctly. And I'm just gonna center it so there's like an eighth inch all the way around. All right, and then on this piece, this three and a half by three and a half, remember we, we um, scored it at two and three quarters. We want to just put our DSP on this side of it. Make sure before I put it down. Yep, it's the right size. I cut everything ahead of time for you. But sometimes, you know how it is. Sometimes you go to cut things and they don't seem to work as good as, like, what happened? I thought I cut it right. All right, so that's that. Now, because I almost forgot about this one, what we want to do is this has to be on here like this all right it's really going on to our base all right this is going to go on here like this right and then this is going to get slipped under here like that so you can just glue it on you can hold this here and glue it to the back if you'd like but i find it easier to put it on the white piece um first all right so what i do is i i put some adhesive on the inside flap see that it's the inside flap and then I'm going to center this on my card just like this and then I'll close it right so we made our little flap okay then I can take this whole thing I just find it easier to do it that way than try to if you if you try to put the flap on your card base I mean that works too I think I'll put a little extra but um I think for centering I like this better. So then we're just gonna center this like that. And then we have our flap, right? So there's there's our card. Alright, see what I mean by it, st it it stays open. So that's that. We have our inside done. We have our thinking of you ready. Now I'm gonna show you this fun technique this how to use these um, hybrid, the hybrid embossing folder thing. This is really cool. All right, now, I did something to my, um, I numbered, well, actually I didn't number, I lettered, because I used A through A, B, C, whatever. So these are the, these are what the, these are called the tree ring dies. All right, tree ring dies. And there's one big piece, all right, this outer piece is a big piece. I went and put um, letters. I put A near on this. Let me show you this when I take it off. You'll see what I mean. All right, so this is one big piece. But these go with each of these rings. So what I did is I numbered them. I lettered them, sorry. The, this is, I put a little A. Uh, hopefully you can see that with a um, Sharpie marker. I got a fine point Sharpie and used it. I put A, A, B, B, C, C. This is D. And E over here. That way I could, when I go to use use them, I don't have to figure out which one goes with which. You don't have to do that. That was just something I thought of. I said before I pull this whole thing apart, I'm going to um, number them. Now, this is the stamp and cut emboss folder that goes with it. All right. Now it's it's a um, thick one, so it's like a 3D one, right? Nice and thick, but it it's not a 3D folder. It's it's this cut and emboss. It does both because we're going to use this inside of here, which we have a couple others like this, but not a lot. But you just, 
you just have to figure out um, which way it, it kind of sits right in here. So again, what I did was I first I put it on this side and it just it obviously is not going to fit. So then I said, well, maybe it goes this way, but no, I'm wrong. So you put it on the side where it says Stampin' Up, all right? And you can kind of feel like it kind of falls right into the spot. But what I did is I put a little A up here and then I know that that's the corner. So right off the bat, if I take this out, if this is loose and I go to put this down, I'm like, wait, no, 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 A's in this corner. So see how it kind of, it, it just will fall right, right into place. See now, now it's not moving. There's a little, it's, it just fits right in there. Now I am going to use, which did I use? I think I used, I think I used B. Yeah, I used B. So I'm gonna use this B. So now I know to take out this B. I'll use that one, right? You don't have to do that. Like I said, that was just, I just thought before I stop pulling this apart, I want to do this. But this is a hybrid set. This is a hybrid set. So you get both the dies and the embossing folder. It's a two-piece set for $36. Now, I forgot to tell you, the stamp set is $23, all right? But if you buy it as a bundle, it's $53. So you get, because normally it would be $59, 36 and 23 to get these two items separately. But if you buy them together, so it's not like a three piece set, it's it's these two pieces, the dies and the embossing fold and then the stamp set. So a three piece bundle for $53. But these two come in the same, um, The bun th this comes together, it's just one number. It is, in case you're interested, 159888. So it's the Tree Rings Hybrid Embossing Folder. And the dies are in there too. It comes in one bag. All right. So now we've got that in there. I've decided I'm going to use B, and I'm going to cut out B with soft suede. So I have to move things over, move things away, because I'm going to bring out the big guy. Let me move my little bird that we want to use. All right. I've got my. Oh, I'm so used to using my little mini. Now this might be kind of close to the camera. Let's see but I don't have to do too much with it. So let's see how close it is once my once my camera catches up, or once I should say, once Facebook catches up. All right, let's see. I think it's okay. Might be a little bit close for you guys, but I think it's good for you to see. This really stinks because I can't see any of your comments. Hopefully you'll be able to comment afterwards, and that way you can earn this. I'm going to... Pull a drawing, whoever comments. <laughs> Maybe I'm the only one that could comment right now. So now your embossing folder, usually with embossing, embossing folders, you want to put your hinge side in first. It just um, keeps it from the chance of cracking off. But So I always try to put my hinge in first. For this set, for doing this embossing, you're going to need your, your, your base number one. Right, then we're going to put down the embossing folder with our paper in there, but we're going to use number four, all right, which is like your 3D plate. So if you're doing this on an old machine like the um, we used to sell the Big Shot years ago, you might we, you might have the blue 3D um, plate. All right, so we want to be, which is right here still. So this is still, see how it's not moving? It's really cool how this works. So now I'm just going to put. You could do all of them at once um, and cut a bunch out, but I'm just doing this one here. So I'm going to put my soft suede in there, and then I'm going to, did I do this right? Yes. Put soft suede in there and cover number one with the four, and then feed it through, crank away. This is going to go right through. This is so funny. I'm so used to using my little mini. I haven't had this big boy out in a while. All right. So let me just move that over the side for a second. And so here we have, oops, come on. So here we have our piece, right? All right, so now we don't need this. You could save these for other pieces. Like if you wanted, you could cut a big piece of soft suede and get all of them done at once. Um, I might save these bigger ones. I don't need, really need it. So that's that's to create the, the, the outer edge right, the whole piece of the wood. So I'm gonna put this aside, and now we have to find our little B, and this is still B, because A was over here, so I know it was B, and you kinda have to, 
you'll be able to you'll be able to tell when it sticks in place it doesn't stick in place as good as the big one um, but it still sticks in place and it's it, you can kind of go by the notches all right and then you'll I'm gonna use a piece of crumb cake so this is just a scrap piece of crumb cake and I'm gonna close that on there and I'm going to bring back the big shot and put this number one down all right my fold is here I've got that in I now I'm gonna put in my number four so I have a one and a four that's all we use for this put it in and crank it isn't this the coolest thing so not only does it cut out the the wood ring right it cut it it embosses it at the same time so let me close this up another feature of this that I like that I can close it up sit it right on the floor next to me for now and put these aside we open this up right and take the paper off and there is our inside piece so that was using the B so like I said you might want to put little numbers on them okay you don't want anything that's gonna rub off though I used a sharpie but it can come out um, look it came out a little bit on my wood there but I'll just use one of these um, ink erasers it's a sand eraser it's not an ink eraser and that marker won't keep happening that was just because I just put the letters on before I did this video all right so that's good so now like I said you could save these pieces I could go in and cut this out if I wanted to and that's probably gonna that's that's oh no that's the big one so we that's we'd have to cut that out with the, the big ring again all right so that's all this is all extra stuff I can use it for another thing if I want but so that's it isn't that cool so I wanted to definitely show you that and there's a lot of little um, spriggy type of things in here so if you didn't want to use like if you wanted to use one of these flower sprigs instead of the bird you could do that. I wonder if I should do that. Maybe I'll cut a little piece. Oh, I have an idea. Oh no, but no, because then I have to find tape. Never mind. I'm not. I was thinking, but you can do this. Take one of these pieces and cut it out of your um, a color that matches your designer paper. If you don't have like a bird to use, you can use something like that. Now this piece here, this is the center. If you wanted the center of your ring cut out. But since it's not going to be seen, I didn't bother doing that. There's, there's two different sizes, one for the bigger ones and one for the small. So, all right. So I hope you like that. And um, it's really a fun, fun technique using the hybrid. And all right. So this is our finished carton. No, that's not the right one. I'm ready to work on that one. So with this, did, what did I do with the big piece? Oh, did I? Did I get rid of the big piece? I did. I put it over here. Gosh. All right. So then you have to figure out, like this is a notch here. So I know that notch is going to go right there, right? So I'm going to use, since this is a rough surface, I'm going to use my liquid glue. Um, you may hear people call this um, green glue. I think because it comes in a green container, but the glue itself is not green. It's just white multi-purpose liquid glue. So I should have done that on my, um, I should always work on your silicone mat in case any glue sticks out. See, this is, see, can you see this on here? That is glue from yesterday. And look at how it comes off your silicone mat. You just wipe it off. Or I could bring it to the sink and just rinse it off. But it just kind of, just kind of rubs off. So there's our ring, right? And we have our thinking of you. And what else do I need? Oh, I need some thread. Um, this is linen thread, right? It's like twine. I'm just going to cut off. Uh, I'm going to double it because I like the idea of a double bow. All right. I want to show you something with that in a second. Now, we want to take this, and I'm going to put this on the card front flat because I want to put, I'm going to put my, thinking of you up on dimensionals all right so I'm gonna put it on flat and I'm gonna use the liquid glue but I'm gonna not uh, since it's going to hang over the edge a little bit I won't put it right where my fingers are I'll just put it to the right all right put some liquid glue on that 
and I'm just going to put it, I don't know, just like, it doesn't really matter. But I do have it going off the edge a little, and I'll just hold it there for a second. Dee, 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 dee. You have to make that noise while you're holding it. All right, so that's on there. I need a couple of dimensionals. Where did I put my dimensionals? I know I had them here. Oh, here they are. I had a small strip of them, so I couldn't find them. All right, so I'm going to put these on our little sentiment right here kind of over the edge that's why I didn't do the cutting of the inside of that I mean I gotta put it towards me for a second just to make sure I put it on see this is why I didn't put this up on dimensionals I just wanted one thing up on dimensionals all right so here's our twine right and if you have a hard time when it comes off of these spools and um, you're like I can't it's really hard to tie this because of the, the twirly you know how it's all twirly from coming off the spool this is what I do I hold the end and I take my bone folder and I'm gonna use my you can do it right on your table but I'm gonna use it on my foam mat and I'm just gonna hold my bone folder straight down and pull this through a couple times and you see how they kinda you can do it one at a time but it's just as easy to do two so I did though that way and I'll just come back this way to make sure I get the other end and see how it kind of straightens them All right and then it'll be easier for you to tie let me put this away we still have to cut out our little birdie let me do that real quick I'm just gonna fussy cut so this is this is what I use just as a closure and I want to kind of cut them out but sort of leave part of the twig he's on because it'll, it'll kind of blend in with the back of the designer paper. Just like this. But like I said, if you have a flower, you can cut out. All right. Or you can cut out one of those. Um... Oh, I almost threw away my bird. <laughs> okay. Let's see. What do I want? Okay. Let's put the bird. He's going to go up on a dimensional. He or she and I'm gonna put it just on a dimensional and then you just have to kind of play with your card a little bit just to kind of see where it's gonna close because you just want it over the edge a little and I'm gonna do just like that a little bit further away because I want him to be I want it to look like he's on a branch just like that see so he'll just get tucked under there and he kind of blends in with the rest of it and makes it look like it's part of Oh, he's so cute okay so now back to this so now I'm gonna tie a bow but it's so much easier to handle when I don't have all those curly curliness to it that's a technical term curliness you know what I mean it's not right that's not the right word but it's not all like swirly and giving me a hard time so it's nice and straight now so that's a kind of a cool little trick all right and then we have a bow Trying to decide how big. All right, so there's our bow, and I'm going to use a glue dot to put that on. We're almost done, guys. I appreciate you watching, even though, even though you couldn't comment. But you can comment when this is on YouTube. I'm going to upload this to YouTube later, and um, whoever, um, I'm going to take all the names of people that comment, like I did on those other cards, and that person, I will send you this card. So I'm going to put this right down here, a little bit lower because I don't want the, the loops to, to cover that, cover the words. So I'm just going to trim them off. I don't need, the, I don't need a really long. All right. So that's the linen thread. Now it just needs a little bit of bling. So these are our rustic metallic adhesive backed dots. All right. And I put, oh my goodness, I got pieces of linen thread all over. Hang on a sec. Let me just get the that out of the way. Oh, my sign is, I'm, that must have moved over when I pulled out the big shot. All right. And I am going to put a big one up here. You don't have to, but we can because it, it's, it's going to be, it, it, it helps that little white area. And we could put one down here, but I don't want it to be too symmetrical. 
So I'm going to use three because three is a good, odd numbers are good. All right, so I put three on there. He's going to just stick right underneath the little birdie. I'm going to move my bird over a little bit more just like that. Cute, right? And then we have that inside pretty little stamp. What do you guys think? Oh, you can't tell me. All right, so that is the card. So I have two of them. And I am going to come back here and check all the um, comments later. Hopefully when I finish the video. Oh, I got a thumbs up, a heart. So I know you guys are there. <laughs> you just can't comment. Oh, darn Facebook. Why does it change things? You know, everything's working. Leave it alone. <laughs> anyway, so that was this card with the Ringed with Nature stamp set and the um, designer paper the um, oh my goodness ring rings of love designer series paper so you could spend fifty dollars get this pack of paper for free which is where this bird paper came from and if you do spend fifty dollars before the end of today you also get my card class to go which uses the trees for sale stamp set and the tree lot dies um, but the trees for sale stamp set is um, not orderable right now but it, they will be getting more the the catalog just came out and um, I guess they didn't expect it to be such a popular stamp set so um, if you want the card class it's eight cards to each of those four designs that I showed you it comes with envelopes it comes with printed instructions and a video, a path to the uh, video that I will record. So you can either just go by the PDF or you can um, watch the video. And um, yes, you can't get the stamp set now, but order $50 in other stuff. If you order um, $50, you'll get this paper, the card kit. Um, I think it's a great deal. Two free things for $50. Um, and then the week of the 25th, is when that stamp set is supposed to become available and then yeah you might have to shop again but by then I will have my virtual card class that um, I will be advertising in a couple of days and um, that is uh, four cards usually uh, I think that's what's gonna be it's gonna be either be three cards and in a, a little boxy item or it'll be four cards again but that's free with a $35 order so you could save another order for later on and um, get the tree lots when they come in. The, I mean, the tree dies. Tree, nope, nope, say it again, Donna. Trees for sale stamp set for the cards. But the dies are in the celebration catalog, and anything in here is while supplies last. Um, I think at the beginning of this, I told you that already these are gone. So pool party and soft sea foam cards for free. For $50 order, they are gone. But the tree lots dies. Oh, the hippos, they're so cute. We did the hippos a couple weeks ago. But these tree lot dies, um, where are they? The tree lot dies, I don't know. I might, if I could spend $100, I'd, I'd select the tree lots if I'm planning on buying the trees for sale dies later on. Because this is the cutest little camper in here. And you can cut these things out with... Um, cardstock you could use like a lighter green and a darker green um and then wait for the stamp set i mean i don't know i just am afraid that these are going to go soon because i think people realize that um they just realize that if the stamp set was a hit these this free item is going to be gone i think that's good that's just my prediction that that will be the next stamp set gone i mean the next dot the next celebration item out of here that's gone anyway that is all I have for you today um, so this is the card and um, whether you can comment here on Facebook later on or comment on YouTube I will I will be uploading that right after this video it does take a while to upload so look for it later today and comment over there because I take the names from both places and I'll put them in a hat or a bucket and I'll pull out whoever um, gets it and just to reiterate it is Beverly Oster Osterick that earned last week's card 
So Beverly, if you are watching, um, just give me a jingle. Let me know you got this. I actually, um, I think I have your address, so I'll just put it in the mail. But if Phyllis Marie happens to be here, Phyllis, you get to choose one of these. I mean, I could go ahead and choose it for you, but I don't even have your address. So you're going to have to message me your address. All right, so Phyllis Marie, that was from two weeks ago. And um, and this was Beverly, all right, because that was everybody that, that commented in the four days. So now, if you comment between now and Monday, um, then I will pull your name out of a hat. Right, I'll pull one. Of, one of you people will get this, and I will send you one of these cards, and um, I'll I'll notify you and let you know. All right, so that's it, my guys. I'll have to figure out why the comments weren't working, and then maybe I'll put a post here, and then um, hopefully maybe it's a setting. I mean, I have it set right. It's just Facebook. I didn't change anything, so Facebook changed something. So go ahead and uh, check back here later, and I will. I'll put a little text in here to let you know what you have to do in order to comment. But I know that there were a bunch of you watching, so just comment between now and, um, let's see, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I will check in on Monday, and um, I will take, take a capture of all the names then. All right, guys, have a great weekend. If you're watching this on Facebook, please subscribe to my channel. And if you like the video... Give me a thumbs up. Maybe hit the, not the little bell for notification. That way you know next time that I am doing a video. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed this fun fold card. I will catch you later. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.